Welcome to this video where we'll be talking about place value, how to read and write numbers through the hundred trillions place. Now let's get started with a place value chart. A place value chart is a chart that helps us to organize numbers so that we can identify the value of every digit. Now a place value, this place value chart is made up of five sections and these sections are the ones, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions. Now these sections are known as periods. So it's the ones period, the thousands period, the millions period, the billions period, and the trillions period. Every period, as you can see, is divided into three branches. And these branches are known as place value. So the trillions period is divided into 100 trillion place, 10 trillions place and the trillions place. The billions period is divided into the 100 billions place, 10 billions place, the billions place. The millions period is divided into the 100 millions place, 10 millions place, the millions place. The thousands period is divided into 100 thousands place, 10 thousands place, thousands place. And the ones period is divided into hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have a number here that we're going to arrange, organize into the place value chart. And to express any number in word form, we need to read the number followed by the period name when we see the comma. So we read the number as a whole. And then whenever we see the comma, we call out the period name of that number. Okay, so let's first of all put this number into the place value chart and then we'll see how we can read it. I normally love to start with the last digits. That's the digit to my right when organizing my numbers in a place value chart. So I'm going to start with five right here. So this will be five followed by two, followed by three. Now the comma signifies the end of a period and the beginning of another. So the comma right here signifies the end of this period before it and the beginning of the period after it. That's why we have commas at the end of every period apart from the last one. So right here, we're going to have four. You can also put your comma here to make it easy for you to recognize. Four, eight, nine. Okay, there's a comma here. We're now done. We have two, one, six. And then we have zero five seven. Now let's see if we can call this number or express it in a word form. Remember you call the number in a particular period together. And when you're done calling it together, the comma signifies the period name. So you call the period name after calling the number in that period together as a whole. So let's try this together. Let's call this number out. This will be 750 billions, 612 millions, 984,325. That's how to call this number, express this number in word form. Okay. Now, if I ask you, what is the value of the digit three? All you need to tell me is you look at the digit three and see, okay, it's under the place value hundreds. So three, the value of three in this number is 300. Okay. Um, let's see, let's try another digits. What's the value of zero in this number? Zero right here. Okay. The value of zero, zero is under the place value billion. So the value of zero, well, it's billions, but zero is nothing. So <laughs> it's just under the place value billions. Okay. And let's see, let's look at seven. What's the value of seven in this number? The very first digit. seven is under the place value hundred billions. So that'll be 700 billions. Okay. All right. And lastly, let's look at one. What's the value of one? in the number 750 billion, um, 612 millions, 984,325. So what's the value of one in this number? 
the value of one is 10 million. The place value of one in this number is 10 million. Okay. 10 million. All right. So let's move on to our next practice here. Okay. So we're going to read this number. And some of you can actually try it out without using the place value chart, but the place value chart makes it easier. Okay. So if you want to try it out, remember to call the number together and then the period wherever you see the comma and to know what period it is, you have to know where it is in the place value chart. Some people already know, okay, this place value chart has five periods. So let me just count the groups together. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So if there are five groups, that means the largest period here is the trillions period. And from there, you can go on and call it by yourself. Call it out, express it out in words without using the place value chart. But the place value chart makes it easier and less likely for you to make an error. So let's go ahead and um, order this number in the place value chart, starting from the last digits to my right, that this will be a four, followed by three, zero. We have a comma here. This will be three, two, one. Have my comma here. This will be seven, eight, nine. My comma here. Well, this is one large number. Um, this will be four, eight, nine. And then we end with five, seven, eight. Now you can call this number. This will be. 875 trillions, 984 billions, 987 millions, 123,034. <laughs> That's a huge number right there. Okay. All right. And we can also identify the place value of every digit mentioned right here. Okay. Let's take some more examples to be sure we really get this. All right. So can we write this number out? Write the number 401 trillion 17. <laughs> All right. So let's make use of the place value chart to aid the ease of doing this. So um, this is a number form or in word form and we're to change it to number form. Remember, you, the, um, whatever you have before the period stays together as a whole, as a group. So we have 401 trillion. You can even try it without the place value chart. The place value chart just makes it easier. Okay. 401 trillion. So I know this 401 will be in the trillions period. So for me to write 400, it's 400. And this is 100 trillion. So this is 400 one trillion. So I have one. This is actually 401 trillion. Okay. That's it. Do we have anything for the billions? No. So I just put my zero right there. Do we have anything for millions? No. I go on with my zeros. Do I have anything for thousands? No. Go on with my zeros. Do I have anything for ones? Yes. I have 17. And this is how I'm going to write my 17. I put a zero in the empty space. And this is my num number in number form. Okay. <laughs> this is the number. So to write it out, that will be 401 trillion. Okay. You go on with your zeros, your zeros, your zeros. And then you end it with 17. This is our number. Okay, we need the zeros to be able to call out these numbers correctly. So don't think, oh, it's zero, it's nothing. I can just put um, 401, 17. No, 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 no. This is actually 401,017. Okay, so this is, you see, that's why even though zero is nothing, its place value is still significant, okay, in calling numbers out correctly, in identifying numbers correctly. All right, so let's take some more examples. All right. Here we have, um, some numbers and we need to know what three represents in each number. 
we need to know what three represents in each number. So let's put it in the place value chart, each number, and figure out what three represent the place value of three in each number. So this will be two, one, zero. The comma here, this will be five, six, eight. You come over here, this will be one, two, zero. You come over here, this will be four, nine, eight. Oh, we're not done yet. Come over here, and this will be three, zero, one. Another huge number right here. So where do we have our three? This is our three right here. This is our three right here. So what's the place value of three? It's the trillions place, okay? So here, three is in the trillions place. Trillions place. Okay. All right, so let's look at the next number. What's the value of three in this number? Uh, let me still use the same place value chart. I put my four here, my two here, my zero here, working with the number in B. And then here we have three and two. So what's the place value of three? Three is in the thousands place. Well, so we have three in, in the thousands place. Okay, and for the last digits, we have one, zero, three, five, six, four. You can put your commas again to help your reading. Seven, one, eight, and then we end with two, nine. So to calling out this number will be 92 billion, eight hundred seventeen millions. 465,000. Oh, there's a mistake somewhere. The comma should be here, sorry. The comma should be here, not where I put it earlier on. Okay. All right. So, 92 billion, 817 million, 401. So, what's the value of three right here? Three is in the hundreds, please as you can see. So this is quite easy if you follow um, how to order numbers in the place value chart. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with something to work on right here. So you're going to calculate your age in years, in months, in weeks, in days. And then you'll write your age in months, in weeks, in days. You'll write it out, okay? Uh, most of you might not be between, you'll be between 9 and maybe 12, 13, okay? So that's going to be easy for you to calculate. If you're 10 years old, that'll be t for you to calculate your months and your age in months. That'll be 10 times 12, 12 months in a year. That's your age in months will be 120. You spent 120 months on earth. To calculate in weeks, that'll be 52 weeks times 10, 520 weeks on earth. And to calculate in days, that'll be 365 times 10 years. We have 365 days in a year. So that will be 3,650 days on earth that you've spent. Okay, you want to take it um, a step further, you can calculate okay in 30 years how old would I be can I write that in words can I write that as a number okay can I write that in days in weeks okay how old would I be in days in weeks in months okay just to practice your understanding of place value all right thanks for watching see you in the next video